Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today I'm taking a look at the new Gnarly FPV Hyper 6. This is a micro hex designed to run 40 millimeter props, and it's designed to run the 16x16 Flywoo 16 1, the same one they use in the Hexplorer, actually, this 13 amp uh, little stack. And in this uh, situation, I'm running it with Zing 1202 8000kV motors on little HQ prop quad blades, and you can use either 9 millimeter or 6.6 millimeter little triangular mounting. And so there's about 18 millimeters clearance between the top and bottom plates and that's plenty of room to run like a larger size camera like this which is a baby Rattel fits nicely in there and there's the uh, Flywoo stack you see the 6 and one and then here I just have a I think an older nameless RC VTX but you could fit something like a TBS Unify Nano would be another good choice and in front of that here I have the Express LRS receiver and you can see the little plastic antenna and good performance with that of course and a nice option here to run the battery strap this way so you can run the battery sideways which is handy if you want to run the uh, an Insta360 Go, which the kit does include the uh, a mount for the original 360 Go, but not for the uh, 360 Go 2, which is a bit bigger, which is uh, what I ran it, so it doesn't quite fit in there, but I did run this with the 360 Go 2 with the mount that I designed myself. You can see right here, it's pretty simple. A little ring mount that goes on one of the front uh, mounting screws there. And so that's actually one of the advantages of running a hex is that uh, you can carry a 360 Go or other payloads without noticing it as, as much as you would on a similar size quad. And so for this flying, I was using a uh, 3S 700 uh, milliamp battery. And like I said, these are 1202-8000 kV motors, which are probably a little bit too big for 40 millimeter props. I think if I were doing this from scratch again, I'd probably just use 1102 motors, which would be more than enough for 40 millimeter props and maybe 10,000 kV on 2S would be, I think a better setup. Go for a higher kV and lower voltage versus a uh, low kV and high voltage, I think makes more sense for this setup and it's getting about four or five minutes of flight which is just so so which is why i think an 1102 higher kv motor on a similar size 2s battery would get more flight time than this but i was getting good uh, flight performance had plenty of power and when i attached the uh, you know when i flew it with the 360 go it didn't really feel that much different so again that's one of the advantages of running a hex so very neat little hex frame and big thanks to uh, gnarly fpv for sending me this frame to check out